Welcome to everyone, this is a new video. In this video we are going to create the water uh, low poly system that you are seeing in the screen. Uh, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, so uh, uh, this is more, uh, uh, this is the way I've done this and there is the uh, source code in the github if you want to copy the code directly so i will not explain uh, every uh, single line of code because uh, some of them are very simple we are going to uh, create the folder structure for this uh, uh, project this video is a part of a bigger project of an entire game where i show some of the interesting system that i'm building and the entire game is uh, viewable in the github uh, so I need to create the whole uh, folder structure such as the resource uh, folder with the material in this and the script folder where I put my water script uh, while in the uh, actual uh, scene I'm going to put a player, a terrain and an empty game object called water uh, in this uh, uh, empty game object we are going to place a mesh filter, a mesh renderer and the box collider and uh, the water script that uh, we have just uh, created. This is an empty script that uh, we are going to script just uh, now. We are now going to create some basic variables for the dimension of the uh, water plane and these are the width and the height of the water plane and the square size. Uh, we are going to create the box collider to set the size of the box collider accordingly to this uh, dimension. The mesh will be created by uh, uh, merging two uh, triangles. Uh, these two triangles have uh, different vertices because we want uh, uh, flat shading. And uh, based on the number of the uh, different cell we are going to define the width and the height and the square size in, uh, is the uh, edge of the triangle of the square that we are going to create obviously multiplying by the width uh, gives the total uh, dimension of the plane we are going to create so a, a make mesh uh, function uh, to put the uh, a function that creates the mesh inside this. In the make mesh uh, we are going to speed up the process because it's a pretty boring process. Uh, to remember is that the vertices array is defined outside the uh, make mesh function because uh, we want to have this uh, uh, as uh, global to the to our class to uh, modify this uh, uh, during the update method because uh, we want to change the mesh dynamically uh, each frame once the creation of the vertices and the triangles array uh, is finished we can uh, set the vertices and the triangles to the mesh uh, recalculate its normal mark the mesh as dynamic to optimize the uh, dynamical change of the mesh uh, each frame and then apply this to the mesh uh, the mesh to the mesh filter now we are going to use the um, equation for the wave uh, to make the wave uh, each vertex move accordingly uh, uh, to the wave this equation is very simple and is uh, uh, that the uh, y value of the of our <laughs> The time passed uh, since the beginning. Now we're going to uh, settle the variables for the for our wave that uh, will be amplitude, frequency, length, and origin point. The origin point is a vector free; the other are float variable, and another variable that will be a double, and it is time. I've uh, done this wrong. I wrote uh, a long type variable. Uh, then I will uh, correct and you, you will see the bug that this creates. Uh, 
Uh, then we make a function, we call it uh, uh, calculate waves and we call it in the uh, update. Uh, we also increase the time by the delta time in the update method. In the calculate uh, waves method, we pass the uh, vector tree of the uh, vector tree array of the vertices and we uh, make the changes for each vertex in this uh, array. Uh, when the, all the changes are done, we can pass the vertices array to the mesh uh, and uh, recalculate the, the normals and mark that as dynamic uh, to update our mesh. As you can see, the water doesn't move. This is because uh, the wrong data type in the time, so we need to change just the long type to the uh, double type and change also the casting of uh, that because uh, in some part this is uh, unuseful uh, because the conversion to float is implicit. As you can see we can generate the uh, with covered values the uh, an actual uh, low poly representation of uh, water. Uh, this can be transformed also in a more, uh, let's say, high poly mesh uh, of a droplet uh, falling because it used uh, the correct wave equation and you can see the result by uh, changing the value. You can play around because you can have this, this is in the commit uh, low poly water in uh, the GitHub project that I've linked below.